I don't think that's what that's for. <laughs> <laughs> hey, well, you know what? <laughs> what? <laughs> In addition to updates <laughs> on our training, oh, yeah, we're going to yeah. talk about what this is, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. uh, so yeah, we're going to do a little bit of an update on how our marathon training overall is going. Yeah. Because we're more than halfway in. We are. We, you could say we're almost there. We are. And we've learned some stuff and we've changed some stuff and we're just trying to pay attention to where we're, where we are. Yeah. So for any other first timers, you know, maybe some of this will stick around. Make sense. <laughs> Okay, so in a previous video, and we'll put a link up here for you, we talked about uh, our uh, attempts to record our runs because we really want to get some really great footage at our first full marathon right. at the Walt Disney World Marathon. Uh, we tried a uh, gimbal from Hohem. Mm -hmm. We tried a gimbal from Feiyu mm -hmm. uh, using our phones. Uh, then using a GoPro. Then we then we bought a GoPro because a GoPro has stabilization. I mm -hmm. thought, well, you know, they're so mm -hmm. tiny and it, they're really awesome. Uh, I thought I could carry it. It just wasn't doing it for yeah. us. Um, so we've invested in this. Look at this thing. It's tiny. That's it the whole tiny. thing. This That's a camera and a gimbal. A three-axis gimbal mm -hmm. with a screen and all kinds of features. Well, this thing doesn't fold up. This is it. Look yeah. at how tiny that is. It fits in his pocket. So. We got it, opened it up, took a look, hoping that this would really suit our needs. Um, it's got, like I said, a, a connection for your phone if you want to. It's got a lot of really nice features. And the stabilization we had hoped would be really, really awesome. Well, the footage you're going to see today of our first run using this DGI Osmo Pocket is, uh, well, in a word, spectacular. Yeah. And it fits in my pocket yeah. while I run. So this is great. This so is this winner. is this is the winner, and this is our first update for week 17, 17. of our marathon training. Uh, what's another update? So our other updates are we're on week 17. We have 11 weeks to go until marathon. The and marathon. When, 11 weeks. That's when, really, really close. When did we start training? We started training on July 1st. So since so, July 1st, we roughly calculated that we have run approximately... 131 miles. Yep. That's a lot of miles. It's a lot. And we still have quite a ways to go. Yeah, we do. Too. We do. So, uh, Millie, don't be weird. Hey, Millie. You're our, being uh, so weird. Our coach Millie's down there. And her breath yeah. stinks. Uh, it's Your okay. breath stinks. Um, so, you know, we're half over halfway through. It's time for, like, kind of a assessment. Yep. You know, how are we doing? Yep. What's changing? What's going well? What's not going well? Yep. So one thing that's going well is um, our feeling during the runs. Uh, we were concerned that whenever we reach that, you know, post 13 mile marker that our usual fueling system may not work. Mm -hmm. So we are now one run over that. We did 17 miles in our last, um, our last update and peanut butter and honey sandwiches and jelly bellies worked great. Yeah. So the, the peanut butter honey is, is, is really, really working for us. The reason I started doing that years ago is that I just didn't want to do goo. Oh, yeah. It just seemed like really gross to me. Yeah. And I know like a lot of people swear by it, but so, uh, so we do peanut butter honey. So what we do is we make a peanut butter honey sandwich on white mm -hmm. bread and then mm -hmm. we cut it into little squares. Cut it into fours. So for the 17 mile run, we each had how many? We each had a sandwich and a half. Okay, so sandwich and a half. So that's uh, six squares. Six squares. Each. It we was were, perfect. We were pretty. We were like borderline hungry. Yeah, we were. So but we we're also do more. we do the sport bellies uh, from Jelly Belly. Mm -hmm. Great flavors. Mm -hmm. You get them in little packages. We'll show you a picture. Mm -hmm. uh, those are great because they're vegetarian in that. Uh, yeah, there's no gelatin there's in no them. No gelatin. So um, that works for us because we're and, vegetarian. And they're super tasty. They're great. And they're kind tasty. of a fun treat. As and we're you can kind of through. you know what they have for you is that little bit of a kick. Mm -hmm. uh, when you need it. And, yeah, so they know, have electrolytes, they have more yeah, calories, yeah. carbs. Yeah, really easy to carry. We mm -hmm. carry them in our, uh, uh, I have a fanny pack or, or now because I'm not carrying uh, that much, uh, you know, a pocket. Uh, we, we open them up, we mm -hmm. uh, we apportion them and now how many of those packages have we had? On so we went through on this long run, we went through a 
package and a half each. Okay. So before we left, I opened up an extra packet and kind of split them between our two packets. Yeah. Um, but it was what, great. What we're doing is um, like every three uh, three miles, I keep saying three hours, and I know it feels like we're out there running for like 12 hours. Sometimes it can. But, uh, so every three miles, I pop a sandwich and like halfway between those three mile markers, I take a you know little tiny handful of jelly bellies, yeah. so like three or four jelly bellies. So that's working really well. It mm -hmm. worked. Uh, uh, it worked for the 17 miles. Uh, we're coming up on 19. 19. And so we're gonna Just we're gonna plan days. for the same thing. So uh, mm -hmm. uh, make sure you're fueling. What was the other thing we were talking about? Okay. Pacing. Oh yeah, pacing. So this week, as you'll see in this video coming up, yeah. we have running buddies yeah, this did. time. It was awesome. Hi, Andrew. Aaron. Hey, Aaron. Uh, so uh, as we're running, um, Aaron had a question that she asked me, um, and she wanted to know what we do for pacing. You know, are we going for a specific time, or do we have goals and you know things like that? And honestly, at this point, we're our goal is still just to finish, to finish. these things. Yeah. Um, this is our first full marathon. You know, we know we know pretty like roughly what we're capable of. Um, and you know, as we mentioned in our very first video, we are slow runners and we're a okay with that. I don't have any, we're not harboring any illusions that we're right. going to make it to like even a sub 10 minute mile. Like but, that's not us. But you do have to finish within a, a prescribed time limit yeah. for the, uh, run Disney, uh, marathon. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. uh, if we do have a goal, it's at least an average that's faster than 17. A 17 minute mile okay. will be fine. Yeah. Um, I imagine the first half will probably run like a 12 minute mile, 11, 12 minute mile. That's our usual for that distance. And then surprisingly, um, it'll slow down. <laughs> we'll slow down a little bit after we pass 13 miles. Yeah. And so, you know, we're hoping for maybe a 15 minute mile. Um, but we're not, you know, holding ourselves to that. No. We're really using it as a tool to gauge how long we're gonna be running. Yeah. This Saturday, for example, yeah. I have a hair appointment at 2.30 in the afternoon. Yeah. So we're gonna to have to like calculate backwards to see when we need to make sure we start. Well, we thought about that, it's really important. You're training for a race, you're training for whether it's a 5K, 10K, half or full, uh, be mindful of your pace uh, because it'll help you gauge how long you're gonna be out there which will in turn help you gauge how much nutrition you need. Mm -hmm. uh, so it all kind of plays together is very important. So uh, mm -hmm. thanks to Aaron for uh, reminding yes. us about uh, pace. Yeah, that's what we've learned so far. So far, we've got some footage taken with the new Osmo Pocket. We're really thrilled about it. And we were really thrilled to run with uh, yeah. our, uh, our uh, uh, subscribers who joined us all the way from California. Yep. Hey, so we hey. just ran five and we have some guests. Oh. <laughs> They've been watching our channel and they traveled here all the way from California to join us. <laughs> yeah. well, I got subscribers to this awesome group. Back here is one sixth of our viewership. <laughs> <laughs> so, how do we do? It was awesome. Good. Huh? Longest run in 15 years for me. Longest awesome. run. All right, everybody, let's give them a hand. Yeah. Fantastic. We ran five miles. Five miles was a shorter week. Right. It's a short run week. So uh, um, felt quite different than last week's mm -hmm. crazy run. Yep. 
Oh yeah, that's right. And the weather today, oh my gosh. Beautiful. It was lovely. Sunny, but 45 degrees. Mm -hmm. It's 54 right now, so probably 50 degrees yeah. while we're out there. Yeah, right in our favorite windy. park. Windy, windy, a little windy. Little there windy. was a little race going on mm -hmm. that we crashed the finish line of several times <laughs> around our loop. <laughs> Um, yeah. We may be featured uh, on uh, on a race that on we their uh, website. Yeah, on their uh, website. Yeah, a good organization helping folks um, coming out of um, substance. That was an awesome red light, dude. <laughs> Speaking of transitional living. <laughs> so we learned about a new organization, yep. um, a local organization that seems to do really good work. We yep. might look into them a little more. Yeah. So that was good. Yeah, yeah. Well, I don't know. I mean, we um, some soccer, some baseball, some, yeah, some little soccer, kid but, soccer, yeah. little kid baseball. Yeah. A lot of people. Uh, yeah. Some good dogs on the road. Good, yeah, good dogs. Yeah. Uh, great run. Uh, we're gonna go uh, celebrate pizza, 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 pizza. pizza. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> that's about it. Next week, um, our training is calling for a. 19. 19. It's calling for 20. We're going to yeah. aim for 19. Yeah, 19 mile run. And then we have a surprise for our viewership. Surprise. This was a surprise yeah. for me. What are we talking about? Yeah, yeah. We're, <laughs> we're going to Disneyland. Yay! Yay! <laughs> so, with that said, I guess everybody uh, can say bye. 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 Remember, no matter what we do, even when we're with other people, <laughs> It's always an adventure with you. <laughs>